Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Mina, and today I will discuss about the difference between traditional firewall and the next gen firewall. Traditional firewall is no more, uh, we can say, sufficient to fight against the advanced threats. Okay, so we need the functionality, we need the features which can really understand the new type of threats and can fight against those th threats and can provide protection to our network, to our devices, to our data. Okay, so what is so special about uh, next generation firewall and how it can help our organization uh, to fight against the advanced uh, attacks? Okay, so uh, when we are just talk about uh, the normal firewall, okay, that's traditional firewall. It is not uh, having the capability to understand the deep level of uh, inspection. It cannot understand the granular level of uh, the concepts, the things it cannot observe. If it cannot see, if it cannot observe, then definitely it cannot protect. It is not having the functionality those things. Okay. And when we are tech, uh, talking about uh, uh, the features when uh, we need to implement on our uh, in our organization along with the traditional firewall that definitely we need to either uh, have need to purchase the new hardware or new software new services uh, to perform those tasks for example let's say we have a firewall in our uh, in our organization and when we are uh, using we want to use IPS, intrusion prevention systems, so then definitely we need to have another functionality or another uh, device uh, which will perform the task of the IPS. But next generation firewall having all the functional, uh, functionality uh, inside it, whether that is uh, related to application awareness okay, uh, or that is uh, data protection that deep inspection of uh, the data or the IPS or the cloud th based uh, uh, delivery threat intelligence or the secure socket sandboxing uh, web filtering uh, on the particular uh, uh, web base of traffic we want to filter we can uh, use uh, next generation firewall all these things having inside it antiviruses anti spamware anti malware all these are the part of next generation firewall okay so th that's what's so special inside it clear uh, when we are talking about the user access okay so it is giving us the detailed awareness about the user who is in our uh, premises who are the user uh, on different different uh, job roles what timing they will access the network what part of the uh, network they will access so who are the user when they will logging where they are okay and what they can have access at what time and when or we can say what time what are the criteria what geographical locations each and everything in the detailed way it can understand clear and another thing is internet application uses we want to control yes during the office hours we don't want uh, our users can have access on the social media maybe on the website of the facebook or on the uh, youtube we we don't want people to just to, to see the videos because it will consume the lot of the bandwidth of the company and it will distract the user from their work okay so uh, employees from their work so just we want uh, to control who are the user inside our network and what they are accessing and at what time they can have access for example on lunch hour we are just giving a break uh, to have access on the facebook clear so uh, who is the user can have access on which application part of the application the whole application or even we if we have in house application okay in house applications if we have and certain part for example say hr can have the uh, uh, certain part of the application can uh, access on it or the sales department have access on the certain part of the application then they we can also provide the application 
uh, access on on the behalf of the user identity so we can also differentiate the data sensitivity whatever the data we are having the categorization of all the data and as per those categorization we can assign the particular uh, right whether that's they can read write or just they can uh, see the data only okay so we can also control all these things and if our user are the mobile user okay but if they are bringing their own devices what part of the network they can have access or what are the compliance or whatever the software they need to uh, install on their uh, devices or uh, what when we are giving access to the network then what type of uh, uh, device requirement or the software requirement we need to uh, check against uh, those uh, mobile devices def definitely we can also uh, work on those one okay and ips functionalities it is having uh, anti bot anti viruses and many more functionality it is having on the advanced file okay so this you can see here more visibility more area it's covering more attack surface it is covering then definitely we can control each and everything uh, at very very micro level we can say so at micro level we can control it and then definitely we can uh, prevent the advanced malware okay so lot of features inside the tradition uh, uh, in the next generation firewall as compared to the traditional so isn't it so wonderful so the big functionality much of the content it's having to protect our network so follow me on the cyber security prism and get the notification for the next interesting and informative session also share that session with your friends and group members so that they will be able to understand what is traditional firewall and what's so special in the next generation firewall